Vector Draw, the Paint on Tab extension allows you to easily draw interactive objects on your page using a brush tool, circles or other elements. We're going to go through this extension, see how it works and go through the features. So first of all, let's add this to our browser. After adding this to our browser, we can then pin this to the toolbar. To do this, we simply left click the puzzle piece we see here and then left click on the pin icon. Now you'll see this inside the browser area inside the toolbar. So let's test this functionality out. So let's go to a website such as Wikipedia. Now on this page, you'll see down the left hand side, we now have different options. We have the option to close, draw, form a shape object, move elements around, write text, delete one selected, move to front, undo, redo or redo undo, change the color, settings and take a screenshot. So let's start first of all by showing how we open this. So if we close this down, we all we simply do is click and it opens up. We then have the ability to draw on the page and we can also see that there are also shorthands for this such as meta shift and p allows us to bring this shorthand up but here we can see we can draw on the page we can also undo what we've drawn we can also change to the hand selector tool and move around elements that we've drawn we can also use our keyboard shortcuts as well for example pressing delete deletes this or we can go ahead and select this and delete via the icon here. So let's have a quick demonstration of how this might be used. So we're gonna go ahead and draw and we want to highlight here. We're then gonna go ahead and change the color. And we're gonna highlight here. And then we're gonna do a nice big arrow. And we realize that we've done the arrow in the wrong location so we want to move this down the page, as we can see here. And we can move this element down. You can also make the element bigger, as you can see, to drag and dropping. So there we go, that's a very quick demonstration. And we can go ahead and write some text on the page as well. Again, Go ahead and moving the elements. So it's all pretty straightforward how we want to do this. The next thing we can look to do is if we're happy with how it looks, we can go ahead and actually download this. So to do this, we simply select here and click and it automatically downloads that image and that opens here and that has saved as a screenshot. You can also see in the settings panel, we have the ability to change certain aspects such as the zoom level, the width of our brush, and the width of other elements such as the stroke thickness, height, and object. Now, a really cool feature of this extension is that we can also import our own SVG images and make them editable. So let's go to an SVG resource, and we're gonna look for something such as a cog. So if we go ahead and download the SVG image, and come back to this page, if we drag and drop this download into the page, this now becomes an editable element. And we can see we can make this bigger, we can make this smaller, we can stretch bits, we can revert it back. We can actually incorporate that as part of this. So not only does this allow us to draw on the page and add in the preset um, elements, but we can also incorporate our own SVG elements as well. And there's also kind of like an editor here as well which allows us to test or write inside here and save this one as well. So this extension really is jam-packed full of features. It has the ability to incorporate external vectors, has the ability to save them, has the ability to have the shortcuts of our keyboard, and it's a really easy and handy extension to use.